Seeing the real change and impact that Apelobi has in the communities for me is incredible. It's like goosebump stuff, really. And that makes it um, yeah, all the more significant. I think what's even more remarkable than the fact that we get fresh fish um, through a really nifty app is the incredible backstory of Abelobi and how it has affected real change in the fishing communities. You know, we often think of sort of carbon footprint or our, you know, sustainability or um, responsibly sourced ingredients as only sort of an environmental thing, but there's also the socio-economic part of it that's really, really important. And that's what's so amazing about how Abelobi is really impacting lives and has changed um, for the better, um, you know, small-scale fishing communities. I, I kind of now wish that all our ingredients could be sourced in this way. What I find quite incredible is how much information is available about the catch that you receive. In previous model and with, you know, traditional supply chains, it, it was a bit of, it was like murky, murky waters, you know, you, you never really knew what species you were receiving. Everything that we do at Wolfgart is about trying to source things as responsibly as possible. So it's amazing that we can now also do that with, um, with the fish that we serve. We can't wait to tell guests that this is how we receive our fish and that we support the you know, small scale fishing communities. I kind of think that everyone already knows about it now because <laughs> you know, we, we just sort of gushing about it. It's amazing to see how amazed guests are who have never heard of it and when they use the app and then that they can send the fishermen a message and people are actually quite overwhelmed by it sometimes, in a good way. It's a really, really feel-good story with real impact. What I find quite incredible is how much information is available about the catch that you receive. And you can share that with guests. We've never had anything like this in South Africa. I mean, in, in many parts of the world, I would think. So the technology side of it's quite sexy. The apps are quite beautifully designed and easy to use. One of the first things people often ask is whether it's available to the general public, um, which I'm now glad to tell them that it is in certain areas. Something that's quite amazing for me is, you know, like the Cape Bream that we serve today, which is such an iconic West Coast fish, you know, it's one of the uh, species that we most often see come in from the local boats as well. It's simply the best fish I've ever worked with. It's so incredibly fresh. I mean, the way that it's packaged, arriving fresh on ice, you know, it's just, it's a dream to work with. It's, um, and you really feel like the product uh, and the fish is sort of you know, honored in the way that it's, that it's supplied. And often it's been seen as sort of an, a low value species and it's been massively undervalued actually. It's a great product. It's a beautifully delicate fish to work with. Previously when fish, you know, chefs would pick up the phone and order their, you know, call their supplier to order fish, they would focus on like two or three species that, you know, is sort of considered restaurant species like king clip. One of these 80s um, fish species and all of a sudden we've got this whole basket of ingredients that we can work with and great fish like cake cream. I love to cook cream you know I think most people associate the west coast with crayfish but since I've arrived here it's um, bream is sort of the, the species that I think is like in at home in the local fishing community it's, off, it's probably the fish that's on the table most often. I think if we can move away from, you know, supporting more commercial fisheries and not buy frozen processed supermarket sea products, I think, you know, that would be a great step forward. 